This one today is Cerro San Luis. We are on San Cerro. San Cerro. We are on the Cerro San Luis hike. I think some people call it Madonna Hill, but it is one of the nine sisters. It is cold today. 46 degrees when we left the RV. So chilly, <laughs> but it's a beautiful day. There are clouds in the sky, which to me equals a beautiful day. It rained last night. I woke up to hear some constant dripping, which sounded like it was coming from inside the house. <laughs> I was afraid it was leaking, but it was just a drip, drip, dripping on the outside of the RV near my head. Um, when you live inside an RV, your exterior walls are very close to your interior walls. So you hear a lot more. Um, but the ground is not as muddy and bad as I thought it would be. It's definitely damp in places, but so far, not bad, right, Ryan? Yeah. A lot of these hikes are really accessible. Like the, the freeway, the highway, I think the highway 101 is just like right down there. And the parking lot is right off the 101. So you don't have to drive a long ways to get some nice nature experiences. Got somebody painting right there. That's kind of cool. This is a nice view to be painting. Oh gosh. I am breathing hard though. This is definitely an uphill climb. <laughs> Getting warm. The hood is coming off. It's layer one. Fork in the road. Uh, rip that away. Right, checking his map. There are a lot of trails on this hike. A lot of these, like Bishop's Peak also had a lot of different trails. Some of them are loops that go around the base. Um, and some of them go out into what they call open space here. So it can be a little bit confusing, but Ryan has chosen and we are going uphill. <laughs> Beanie's coming off. Nope. Ryan is already way ahead of me because I was putting my stuff away. So I gotta head up the hill to catch up with him. Here we go. Running uphill. Running uphill. Here we go. <laughs> this is good, right? <laughs> I don't wear the shoes because they make me fall down. Cute little bridge. There's the, is that, is that the loop or this is the loop? That goes out to the M on the side of the hill. The M trail, whatever that be. All right, following you, buddy. Who wouldn't want to follow that? Work it. This is interesting. Just under that. Ooh, I'm still breathing from that jog uphill. Wow, great view. Woo! So that's 
the supposedly this is what uh oh yeah alex madonna the guy that built the madonna inn in the 50s apparently got mad at the city of san luis obispo or county or whoever the authority was then he wanted to build a convention center on the top of this hill <laughs> and they denied his permit so apparently he bulldozed a road up the side of the hill <laughs> Heads up the hill. Bulldozing a road up the side of a mountain. That's like a world class temper tantrum. Yeah. That's like. That's, that's. That building's part of the Madonna Inn, that big warehouse. I kind of think it is. That turned into his convention center for a while. I don't know. I don't know what kind of convention center do you build on top of a hill 700 feet off the ground? I mean, you get good views. Yeah. It doesn't seem like convention centers are usually like arenas. And those are inward facing. You'd think on something on top, you'd want outward facing, like a visitor center. <laughs> the speaker's up at the top and everybody's just looking out the windows. Yeah, because convention centers usually don't have windows. Yeah, they're usually stadium type things looking inward. Yeah. And buildings that look inward. So. Also, I bet they didn't allow him to do it because to make a convention center on the top of a hill, you'd have to like raise the top of the hill off. You'd have to like top just it off. whoosh. I don't know, but he bulldozed the path that we're on right now. <laughs> I, let's all let's admit it. There are times when we all would like to throw that type of temper tantrum, right? Oh, horse, horse trekking. Yep. Horse riding, pony rides. It's just like, hey, let's all go really, really slow and stare at the butt end of a horse. At least it's not dusty. That's true. Right now while it's green. And this we're gonna call Timber Tantrum Road. Now their horse is gone. Man, though, so there are times, so if I had a bulldozer, somebody would have to take the keys away from me. <laughs> There'd be some buildings knocked over. I'd be like, no! Burn it, burn it to the ground. I know that's not what a bulldozer is for, but... We will burn Utica to the ground. <laughs> There's Bishop Peak that we hiked. You can see the trail. That's the big rock we stopped at, and then the trail cuts up along the side, and then switch backs up to the top. And that, up at the very top, the rock that's farthest to the right, that's where we went up to the top of. And we tried to get up to the middle one, but it was just too rocky. Or no, we got up to the middle one. We didn't get up to the far left one. You can see that pointy rock right there. I tried to stand up on it and take a picture and I could not balance on it. I was like, I was like, take the picture, Ryan, take the picture. Hold on, I'm gonna stand up, I'm gonna stand up, I'm gonna stand up. Take the picture! And I was in just like the most awkward position ever. And my feet were like this, and I'm standing perfectly fine. I'm not unbalanced, I'm not rocking back and forth, I'm standing perfectly still. There's even wind blowing on me. And yet for some reason, it was like the psychological position of being up there being really high up I don't know does anybody else deal with that maybe I gotta just work on trusting my balance because I have okay balance I mean I trip a lot I don't know does anybody else have that problem I don't know we're almost to the top I think the top is somewhere up there and the last bit Last bit uh, looks a bit like a dry riverbed.
It's a bit windy today. Woo! We made it to the top though. We made it to the top and uh, we're about to be blown off the top. I'm getting chilly now. I was sweaty and now it's windy, so. Like you guys know, you know that. Exposition. Is that exposition? It might be not. We are on our way back down. That was a great hike. And we are on our way back down, and there's one of the climbable, hikeable, lately climbable and hikeable. Nine sisters left for us to hike. It's like pink, and I think I see it off in the distance, but I also see rain coming. So we will have to save that for another day because we've got a visible rainstorm coming our way. I think that's a slate peak there, and that right there is a rainstorm heading our way. Car. It's up. We shall see if we make it back to the car before that rainstorm is upon us. I'm sure me stopping to film stuff doesn't help, but hey, what are you gonna do? If we get caught in the rain, it'll just be a fun story to tell, right? It's gonna be cold. <laughs> that downhill slouch <laughs> trying to protect my knees yeah and we're back yay good hike that was a good hike and now we go grocery shopping because we are out of food the parking lot was pretty full when we got here, so we are very glad that we have a tiny car with a big boot. There are a lot more than just the nine sisters to climb. There are so many places to hike, a lot of hills, and here are some of them. Just done it. Gonna do it. <laughs> 